Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. This is a promo video for Irene, who's Crafty Irina, and she is currently hosting a 500 subby giveaway challenge. Um, it goes through February 2014, and she's picking two winners on March 2nd. So go check her out. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. And this is just the first part of the challenge that I'm, I'm definitely participating. Uh, it's a multi-part challenge, so um, I'll leave you to find out the details by watching her original video because I don't want to mess anything up. But I thought I would share with you guys the first part of my entry, which is this paper bag card. Um, it's a larger format that I'm used than I am used to working with, um, but I wanted to. Uh, follow her rules, <laughs> and I started with this little blue button stamp freebie. She's like, um, I think it's called like Jar of Hearts or something like that, and she's super, super cute. I colored her in with my Copics and my Chromatics, and there was a little splotching going on. I don't know why. I think it was just the paper that I was using in her little pantaloons, so I decided to just draw in little polka dots, and I think she came out even cuter that way. She kind of reminded me of Alice in Wonderland. So then that got me to thinking about the kind of paper I wanted to cover the bag with. And I, I was lucky enough to get this um, Steampunk Spells uh, Graphic 45 paper pack. This was an 8x8. And I also got the 6x6. Um, and so that kind of tied in, I thought, to that kind of that steampunky Alice in Wonderland funky world thing. Um, I could just be alone in that, but <laughs> it all made sense to me. Um, and then I use these beautiful teal and blue, um, uh, what's that called? Rose uh, trims. Uh, it comes in a big roll. And this one, they these three were gifted to me by Candace Garborough. Thank you, Candace. And then these paper flowers, the green and the um, blue teal ones were from Bev, New Crafter Bev. Thank you, Bev. She gave me a huge bundle of flowers uh, that I received yesterday. And I think the cover came out really cute. On the inside, I um, just used more of the paper, more of this ribbon. I used the last of this um, really pretty sheer ribbon that I got at Michael's. Um, and then I just used some of the six by six paper to make a little tag here. Um, this little tag, I used the last of the little smaller um, teal roses there. Um, and I used another of the ste steampunk papers um, here, which is gears. Um, and then here I decided to make a pocket with some gold uh, foil kind of paper. And I punched this out with one of my w double wide kind of Martha Stewart punches. And I lined them up so I um, it's actually this wide. And then I just doubled it up. And I kind of glued the edges around, so I made this little pocket. Um, and then the back is just this paper, um, half and half. And I think it came out really cute. I really like it. And Irene, I hope you like it. Please, everybody, go check out Irene's challenge. Um, it's a lot of fun. Lots of different things to do. Altered dominoes, um, altered corks, um, little ticket. Uh, I can't remember what else. Anyway, that's uh, this is my promo video. I hope you like it, Irene. Um, and y'all check out Irene's channel. She's super talented, really creative, and uh, she's hosting a super fun challenge. Bye, everybody.